for annual certification course. The week-long course conducted at Fort Belvoir, Virginia, is designed to simulate many of the functions that military working dog teams can serve. Under the watchful eye of senior NCOs and civilian instructors, the handlers and their dogs performed actions like guarding entry control points, searching for explosives, drugs, and other contraband, and subduing enemy combatants. However, a large part of the training focuses on the handler's abilities to control their dog and the dog's ability to obey commands. Sit. Handlers and their dogs conduct four hours of obedience training and four hours of searching and controlled aggression each week to ensure that the dog is able to understand and perform actions even as simple as stay. Private First Class Bo Andrea only recently graduated from advanced individual training for the newly created MOS 31 Kilo, military working dog handler. Both he and his partner, a two-year-old German Shepherd named Leonidas, are running through the course for the first time. PFC Andrea says that training with Leo has been a challenge because despite his size, weighing close to 100 pounds, Leo is still a puppy. It's been, it was very difficult at the beginning. Uh, puppies are stubborn. And uh, he was very stubborn at first, but we both came around learning. I was learning how to train a green dog and he was learning how to be with the green handler. So uh, it's been very hard, it's been very difficult, but it's all gonna pay off. Later sections of the course will include scouting, where the dogs must track and locate a fleeing subject in the woods.